Hi, it's Dee. It's my vlog day, June 26th, 2019. I'm in a place where I never thought I would be able to visit again, Guanajuato, Mexico. As fate would have it, or as destiny, or as God would have it, I was chosen to come on this delegation with 43 other teachers, 42, uh, and it's been an experience that I wouldn't have given away for the world. I love Guanajuato so much, I don't know if it's because there's nothing standard about it, or is it the feeling you get with almost perfect temperatures every day, mountains around you, and people that seem kind of happy? Is it the different colors? I don't know. But in of Mexico in general, as teachers, we've seen many different situations where a lot of teachers might think that there's just a lot of poverty or that there'd be just like upper class, higher upper class people. There's really everything in between, as well as what you would have thought. Yes, some people do wear ponchos and sombreros. Some people do sing in mariachis bands. And yet there are so many people that are doing the same things that the United States citizens are doing, working hard, wanting students to do well in their classes. Um, I've made a connection with a couple teachers and I hope to continue that communication of friendliness. Um, one of them was my host family. Two of the, the, the husband and the wife were both teachers and one was a director. And these this way that I came back to Guanajuato is, has a lot of meaning for me because last time I was here when I lived with a wonderful family, I told them I want to be a teacher and I was in college studying and it was toward the end of my college career. And I followed through on that and now I got to come back as a teacher and work with some of the students in Mexico alongside some of the best teachers from North Carolina. I mean, I've gotten to work with Teachers of the Year out of the whole state, out of their districts, and I feel privileged and honored to have been chosen to do this. And it's so relevant for my students as well because a lot of them have parents that come from Mexico or come from Mexico themselves. And I think that sometimes when you're born in the United States, whether you're first generation or third like myself, you have a disconnect with some of the places that formed your parents or your grandparents and that form you through them. So if I, there's anything I can do to bring back the pictures, the, the sights, the sounds, the feelings, the good, bad, and ugly, I will do it. And yet I know that I know so little about this country and that I have no idea what it's like to be going to school like two students that I met that didn't have any breakfast and they didn't have any lunch. And yet all the other students shared with them so that they could eat and the teachers helped out. And I'll never know what it's like to live in Mexico every day and have my culture tell me in a rural area that secondary school is the best I can finish. Uh, I'll never know what it's like to be part, pressured to be in a cartel or to be killed within you know, a couple days unless I escape. I'll never know what it's like to be in the high of highs when GM hires me for a job in the automotive companies and to be able to live in Guanajuato City, get married and have a child. But I can tell these stories and do my best to show pictures of the experiences that I've seen, witnessed and, and been able to touch upon here. And I hope to continue the relationship with a couple teachers I've met and maybe make exchanges with information, culture, and anything else that comes because Mexico is dear to my heart. I'm glad to have reconnected with the culture that formed my genes and my being I'm glad to have practiced a language and to be able to have helped some of the best teachers in the world and to facilitate communication between Mexican teachers and them and Mexican merchants and them, etc. Thank you very much for this experience. It's been an experience that I hope isn't the last in my life because, but even if it isn't, I don't want it to be a downswing. It's inspiring me to go further with teaching and any other experience that we can spread in knowledge, information, and most importantly, convivencia, which is the Spanish word for living together and making it work.